You can move a chart anywhere in a workbook, as well as move elements within the chart. And you can resize a chart if it's too large or small. In this lesson, you learn to reposition a chart, resize a chart, modify a legend, and modify chart data. Here's our chart. We want to resize it and move both the chart and the legend. When we're finished, our chart will look like this. It will be positioned here below the worksheet data, and the legend will be over here. Let's get started. In step one, I'll make sure the chart is still selected. And I know it is because I can see these sizing handles at each corner and side. They appear whenever a chart is selected, along with the tools here and the contextual chart tools tabs on the ribbon. A chart is a graphic object, meaning it's an independent element in the document. So you can move or resize it just like any other object. I'll position the pointer over the chart, and it changes to this move pointer. Then in step two, I'll position the pointer over a blank area of the chart. Then I'll drag it toward cell A16. When I get to the point where the upper left corner of the chart is at the upper left corner of cell A16, I'll release the mouse button. And the chart is repositioned. In step three, I'll scroll down until I can see the whole chart. We're going to resize it a bit. I'll position the pointer on the right middle sizing handle until it changes to this resizing pointer. Then I'll drag the border to the right edge of column G. In step four, I'll position the pointer over the upper middle sizing handle. Then I'll drag the border to the top edge of row 15. In step five, I'll position the pointer over the lower middle sizing handle. Then I'll drag to the bottom border of row 26. And you'll notice that all the elements in the chart adjust to work with the new size. In step six, I'll click the Chart Tools Design tab. Then in the Chart Layouts group, I'll click the Quick Layout button. These layouts offer pre-configured arrangements of objects in your chart. For example, in Layout 2, you can see that the legend and title are above the chart, and the plot area is hidden. I'll click Layout 1. You can also freely move individual chart elements. I'll click the legend. And sizing handles and a selection border appear around it. I'll press and hold shift, which holds an object to its horizontal or vertical position as you move it. Then I'll drag it up so the dotted outline is about a quarter inch above the top of the plot area. That dotted outline represents the object. I'll release the mouse button and the shift key, and the legend is repositioned. Holding shift is an easy way to keep an object in line as you move it. In step seven, I'll click cell A12. I'll type United States, and I'll click the enter button on the formula bar. Then I'll resize column A using auto fit. And notice in the chart that my axis label also changed to reflect United States. Changing any data in the worksheet modifies corresponding text or values in the chart. Then I'll save my work. To try these steps yourself and to see some tips, turn to page Excel 84 in your book. You'll also find a table that describes common object pointer shapes in Excel. And you can learn how to move an embedded chart to another sheet in a workbook.